What's up, guys? Educated Barfly here, back again this week to bring you another Prohibition era cocktail to pair up with this week's episode of Perry Mason. I don't know about you guys, but I've been really digging the show. And on top of that, I've been really happily mixing cocktails ahead of each episode and drinking them while I'm watching them. So I hope you guys are doing the same thing. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Hanky Panky. The Hanky Panky was created by legendary uh, bartender Ada Coleman, who was the second head bartender at the American Bar at the Savoy Hotel in London. And uh, she had this regular, uh, who was a comedic actor of the time named Charles Hawtrey, who would sit at her bars for hours and hours and drink all of the different concoctions that she would make. And it actually came out later that she tinkered for hours just to impress uh, this Charles Hawtrey guy. Uh, he would, they were just such good friends and he was such a good regular. And uh, it, the story goes that when she gave him his first hanky-panky, he took one sip and said, by Jove, that's the real hanky-panky. And uh, the hanky-panky, it has been ever since then. Um, and it became so popular that not only did it burn its way through the speakeasies of the time, but it also uh, found its way, it found its mark in history. All right, so first thing we are gonna do, this is gonna be a pretty simple cocktail, guys, is one and a half ounces of sweet vermouth. An ounce and a half of gin, and then just a quarter ounce of Fernet Branca. And we're just gonna crack our ice. Give it a nice stir. And because our ice has been sitting for a little while here, we're not gonna have to stir for too, too long to get it, to get the right dilution and get it down to temp. And honestly, if you're using wet ice, you can actually, if you need to do something else, you can actually stop stirring and just kind of let it sit in there. Uh, and usually you would be using a chilled glass. Just make sure when you're making these at home to use a chilled glass. I decide for these tutorials not to use a chilled glass so that you guys can actually see the color of the cocktail because I think it's very important for people to see what it is that they're making uh, so that they know that they're making the right thing. You know, if this was like, if we were using like wheel, weird filters or lights or something and it looked different and you made it at home, it would be a little confusing. Uh, so then we're just gonna strain this into our glass. And then just give it a nice orange twist. And for this one, I'm just gonna lay it on the side like that. Let's give it a, a little sip. Ah, oh, that is brilliant. So, you know, what's really great about this is that the fernet and the botanicals in the, inside the fernet really play very well with the botanicals in the gin and the botanicals in the uh, Dolan. So, you know, what I think makes this cocktail so great is that all of the flavors balance really well, but you also have three different ingredients that have macerated herbs and spices and barks into them. You know, you've got the gin and the sweet vermouth uh, and then the fernet as well. And so all of those botanicals are playing really nicely together and making a very simple cocktail very, very complex. I'm just gonna give them a nice little sip. And, you know, I didn't mention it, you know, on the, uh, just now, but also the kind of freshness of the orange, kind of playing up this sort of citric element, uh, kind of gives it this nice, vibrant, and bright finish, which is really, really good for the summer. There it is, guys. Another Prohibition era cocktail for you. Enjoy this week, and don't forget to tune in to Perry Mason on Sundays at 9 p.m. only on HBO.